All right, first and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And Shalom to you, Sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I'm going to jump straight into this video. Lord's willing, it's edifying. Um, might be a little long. Uh, <laughs> I might get fired up. Lord's willing, I don't. <laughs> I'm calm. But, uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is, man. That, this is just a sign that we're getting closer and closer to the end. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, um, with that being said, let's jump straight into this video. Um, I'm going to do a, um, like a response to these guys. Um, uh, this is actually a video off of Defender for the Truth. Uh, it's called Response X Hebrews Tell All They Were Never in the Truth. All right. It's a bunch of, like, I think these three young Jakes, you know, sitting in their car, uh, eating on some Mickey D's or whatever, <laughs> talking shit, you know. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's funny, you know. It's not even, you know, back in the day I would get mad and whatnot, but it, it, it's just funny. It just shows, it to me, it, it just shows you how close we're getting, man. And and, it, and it, it's sad, actually. It's really fucking sad. Uh, uh, Salak, excuse my French. Um... But it's really sad how close we really are, and, uh, and you know to fall out the truth, man. But like like the brother said, uh, the elder said, defender for the truth. Uh, they were never in the truth, you know. <laughs> they never really understood what this thing was about, you know. But anyway, with that being said, uh, let's jump into it, man. I'm, I'm probably not gonna play the whole video. You could watch his video. Um, like I said, his channel is defender for the truth. And it's a uh, response, ex-Hebrews tell all. They were never in the truth. And I got, a, you know, I got a couple scriptures I want to touch on. I didn't watch the whole video, so maybe he touched on them. I don't know. But um, I'm going to just go in and recall with Dash, all right? So let's go. Put these mugs uh, <laughs> front and center. Well, all ex-Hebrew Israelite members, bro. Like, we're all... <laughs> we were all like into Fuck the call, nigga. <laughs> we was we was all into like the Hebrew Israelite yeah, doctrine. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like we used to actually believe a lot of the shit that they taught. Even though the true like morality of stuff, you know what I'm saying, love and brotherly love, oh yeah, I respect that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But guys, like in all things there are goods and there's bads, you feel me? So we gonna get into this shit, bro. Honestly, I'm gonna let my guest speak first, man. You know what I'm saying? Who I was. Yeah, if you want to, then you and you were Hebrew is like I'm pretty sure you know who yeah, this nigga is. Maybe Hebrew. I used to make YouTube videos, bro. I used Everything. To go ham, Everything, like, bro. Niggas in the limelight. Like, yeah, I was. I was. No, I was. I was. I had clout, bro. Yeah, like it's like clout. Okay, so that's the first time I'm gonna jump in right there. <laughs> let me run that back <laughs> so you can see. I mean, it's just funny, man. It's sad for you to fall out the truth that this. Uh, Late in the game, man. Like I said, I, I'm a young man, you know. You know, Elder Apostles to Har and them, they've been in the truth for 30 plus years, man. You know, and I've been in this thing since I was, like I said, I, I, like I always say, I was, I was raised in this from a, from a young man, you know. I used, I go back to the 101 West, you know. But um, it's sad, man. It, it, it's funny. And I you know, I was thinking, like, like, even back then, you know, the scripture says uh, our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. So as each day progresses, we're getting closer and closer. That's what these dumb niggas don't understand, man. <laughs> you know, though it tarry, wait for it. It shall not tarry. It shall come, man. And as each day passes, <laughs> he's returning, man. It's inevitable. You see. But um, anyway, let me let me run it back. You know, so many so many scriptures. You can so many different ways you can go with this, man. But I just want you to hear this loud and clear from these these idiots. One more again. Salaka, I'm going to jump in on clout. Because, you know, old boy said he had clout. And that that's like the main uh, reason why they they fell out. Because they didn't, they didn't understand what this thing was about. You, you see? This thing is about the, the truth. As it says, they were never in the truth. This is about finding out the truth. You know, that's why I always say I do my videos for the, the sincere Akim. Okay, you got to be humble and sincere, you know. The, a lot of these people, they're coming into the, this thing with ulterior motives, man, you know.
were all ex Hebrew Israelite members, bro. Like we were all, <laughs> we were all like into. Fuck the cult, nigga. <laughs> we was we was all into like the Hebrew Israelite yeah, doctrine. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like we used to actually believe a lot of the shit that they taught, even though. The true, like, morality of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Love and brotherly love. Oh, yeah, I respect that shit, you know what I'm saying? But guys, like, in all... You don't respect the, the morality and all that shit either. You, you're a goddamn liar. You're a hypocrite. Because if you respected, you would have kept pushing this truth. You don't love your brother. You hate your brother. And the Lord hates you. And you're going to... Anyway, I, I'll let the Lord speak, you know? All things that are good and there's bad, you feel me? So we gonna get into you this are, shit, bro. You are I'm, bad. You are wicked, evil. You a wicked nigga. I'm gonna let my guest speak first, man. You know who I was. Yeah, if you want to, then you and you were Hebrew is like I'm pretty sure you know who yeah, this nigga is. Maybe Hebrew. I used to make YouTube videos, bro. I everything, used to go everything, like, bro. You used to. Was in the limelight. Yeah, I was. I was you used to. Why'd you stop? Why'd you stop? Are we not in captivity? Oh, is this our rest? Why'd you stop? Did you? How was I return? <laughs> No, I was, I was, I had clout, bro. Like, yeah, had like, clout. Clout. like, niggas knew who I was. Yeah, niggas knew who he was. He was in the limelight. So let me stop it right there, right? So, um, right quick, like I said, the foundation was never laid, okay? Um, so I got uh, off of Google, clout, okay? And it's funny that he used the word clout, right? Because when you how about you how a shy returns, guess what? He's going to clout you upside your goddamn head. Okay, and this is the word clout. Clout is a noun, right? It says a heavy blow with the hand or a hard object. Okay, and the Lord, I best believe, when He comes back, He's gonna clout you, niggas. Okay, two thirds of Israel is gonna get clouted. Okay, uh, but also, it also informally means influence or power, and that's that's the way that these these dumb niggas was using it. Okay. I know I was gonna. I, 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 I'm not really mad. It, it's funny, but it's sad, man. And it's a serious thing, man. It's serious. This is this is deadly serious, man. And it's better that them niggas would have just stayed in the world. You you see, but hey, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, clout. It says uh, influence or power, especially in politics or business. And this isn't a business. This isn't a politics. This is our job. This is our duty. This is our, this is, we, you know, this is our purpose, okay, to spread this truth, to push this truth, the truth, the true, the true, uh, the true wisdom, knowledge, and, uh, and understanding of the supreme being who is Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, okay, the purpose of why everything is, that's what, that's what this, like, what, like the brother said, they were never in the truth, all the men that are in the truth, the, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, they sincerely are looking for the truth and have found it, okay? We ha we know the answers. We know we, we have an unction from the Lord, and we know all things. We understand all things, okay? But you guys didn't obviously grasp, grasp that. You were looking for clout. You were looking for influence or power. You were trying to get it popping. Kind of reminds me of that Adam, Adam you, you were prideful. You know, you didn't come to the whole, the, the Lord uh, in all sickness and, and, and sincerity, you know? But anyway, let, let's go back to the video. It's a lot. Um, let's go back, play a little bit more. Then I go into scriptures. These nicks, young men too, boy. Oof. Wow. Oh, you know yes, maybe Hebrew. Hebrew. I used to make YouTube videos, bro. I everything. Used to go everything. Used to, used to. What have you done for me lately? All our righteousness is filthy rags, okay? It says no no man putting his hand to the plow looking back is fit for the kingdom. Y'all looking back and you laughing and you scoffing and you mocking. You damn near blaspheming, borderline blaspheming. You, you see? I'm going to let my guest speak first, man. You know, who I was. Yeah, if you want to, then you, and you were Hebrew is like, I'm pretty sure you know who yeah, this nigga is. Maybe Hebrew. I used to make YouTube videos, bro. I used everything. to go ham. Everything, like, bro. Nigga was in the limelight. Yeah, I was, I was, no, I was, I was, I had clout, bro. Yeah, like, it's like clout. Like, niggas knew who I was, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit crazy. So, bro, tell, tell, tell everybody, bro, so, like, about Hebrew is like, bro. Just about it. Bro, that shit is, is a, it's a, it's a fucking virus, bro. Like, it, it's like a poison to the mind. Very. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
No, it's not a po it's a poison to to a wicked mind. Yes, because you're not a righteous vessel. So yes, it's poison to you. Okay, but to a, to a righteous vessel, <laughs> it's it's a renewing of your mind. It's a washing of your mind. It's a cleaning of your mind. Okay. You understand that everything, everything in this world is wicked and contrary to what your Haobashimi Haobashai is about. Okay? You, you have to, that's why, <laughs> man, this is, wow, sad. Very sad. Man. Nigga, I was thinking the world gonna end, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was have, I was stagnant with my goals, like what I want to accomplish in life. So I was thinking the world was gonna end. Oh, oh, I, I get it. Salaki, so you want, you, you mad, you want to make it and you want to make it in this world. <laughs> you put your trust in Egypt. You trust in the oppression. Okay? Like I said, you don't love your brother. You just want to make it here. You just want to be comfortable. Okay? You want to be a homeborn slave. Okay? You're not of the cloth of the 144. We we have a ruling class mentality. We know this is not our rest. Okay? We are waiting for our uh, our reward, with this, which is with the Haobash and Haobashai. A new heaven. Okay? Wherein righteousness dwelleth upon the earth, okay? You you want to raise your kids here with homos with with uh, trannies and shit, man? You niggas is off with Mickey D's and and GMO burgers, gone, completely gone. Like 2016, remember? Mm -hmm. Like when Trump was gonna become president? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, I thought it was over with. I swear, like, nigga, I didn't do shit. I was just waiting on a, for Jesus to come back. And Salaki, is Trump not still president? <laughs> and even if he, even if he, if he doesn't get reelected, so does that mean that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not going to return? Okay, does <laughs> these guys are crazy, man? But these are young bucks too, man. But hey, it doesn't matter though. Fuck it. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Save this, my <laughs> Khan. That's why two thirds got to go. It said it's a good thing the world didn't end. Can you imagine shit talking, fast food eating niggas on a chariot? Nah, cause these is the same these is the same niggas that came out of Egypt talking shit to the Lord, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? You see, these 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 is the same niggas that came out wanting to go back into Egypt and eat eat cucumbers and shit. Murmuring against against Moses and the Lord, saying, uh, have we come out of Egypt to, to starve and the fucking, and, uh, you know, die of thirst. Wicked ass niggas. These are the same niggas that was talking shit against the Lord. Yo, we want to go talk to the Yahweh. T telling Moses shit. Talking shit to Moses. And then when they heard Yahweh start rumbling and shit. Nah, Moses, you go up the mountain. And what did these wicked ass niggas do? Build a golden calf. That's these niggas. Okay? They want to stay in fun land. Okay? But guess what? Funland is coming to a drastic close. Whether you like it or not. Become president? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, I thought it was over with. Whether you understand like, it, whether you believe it or not, whether you receive it or not. Jesus to come back and save this. And that's, that's the fucking problem. You call it, you, you must have been in IUIC or something. Or GOCC because his name isn't Jesus. You had, you, 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 you see? You never was in the truth, like the, like the Akiyam said. You never was in the truth. <laughs> Call hello, you how about me how shy? You see, the foundation wasn't wasn't right. Okay, <laughs> you you was built on folly ground, man. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus wasn't you right? Jesus ain't returning. Yeah, how is shy returning? You absolutely right. <laughs> you con <laughs> or what? How they say in the IUIC con or con? I mean, the ISUBK con or con? You right? Jesus ain't returning. Yeah, how is shy returning? With, I swear, like, nigga, and I the vesture dipped in blood, in your blood, all three of y'all. <laughs> yeah, like 2016, remember? Mm -hmm. Like when Trump was gonna become president? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, I thought it was over with. I swear, like, nigga, I didn't do shit. I was just waiting on the, for Jesus to come back and save us. Like, and why wouldn't you do shit? Did Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said, "Occupy till I come." He didn't say fucking don't do shit. There's many scriptures about being idle <laughs> and being a sluggard. Okay? First of all, you're supposed to be pushing this truth. What the fuck you mean you didn't do shit? You're supposed to be been studying to show thyself approved. But obviously you wasn't doing that. You was looking for clout. <laughs> you was trying to be in the limelight. <laughs> trying to get views and likes. Oh, 
Is this video going longer than I thought? Nigga, I was thinking the world going to end, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was have, I was stagnant with my goals, like what I wanted to accomplish in life. So I was thinking the world was going to end. Like, 2016, remember? Mm -hmm. Like, when Trump was going to become president? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, I thought it was over with, I swear. Like, nigga, I didn't do shit. I was just waiting on the, for Jesus to come back and say Jesus like, to come shit. back. He was just waiting on Jesus. Every, no. <laughs> They, they really boy. made, they make, they make you have so much hate with them, bro. That's really with me. Too, yeah, yeah. Like, they made me hate everything. Like, <laughs> if, <laughs> if, like you, everything, nigga. Like, if you didn't, like, this is hilarious. I just hated the world, nigga. We wasn't even keeping the commandments. We hated niggas. Yeah, my shit, yeah, my shit. I said hate the world. You niggas is through. Hey, hey, I'm gonna shut this video down. This, this is y'all can watch. I'm gonna watch this when I when I'm done with the video. This is hilarious, man. These the commandments. Oh God. <laughs> these niggas is through, man. Through ski. Anyway, uh, let me hit some scriptures because enough of these clowns. Let's let's see what your how about you? How shy says, man. I, um, and I got the red letter on, so you can see it straight out of the mouth of uh who you ignorantly call <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, his name is Yahweh Shai, okay? And his the, his father's name is Yahweh, okay? And I'm going to start at the top of this because I want to get all the meat off of this. If you don't want to watch my video, turn the shit off, okay? Uh, anyway, Luke 19 and 1. And Yahweh Shai entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named uh, Zacchaeus, which was, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Yahweh Shai, who, who he was. And could not for the press, because he was of because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Yahushai came to the place, he looked up and saw him, and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that the and when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him I restore him fourfold. And Yahweh said unto him, This day salvation came to this house, for at for so much as he for so much as he also is son of Abraham, for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. And they heard these things, and he added and spake a parable, because he was nigh unto Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom should, this is the main point here, and they heard these things, this is Luke 19 and 11, okay? And they and they heard these things, and as they heard these things, he added, who was the he? Yahushai, right? And spake a parable because he was nigh unto Jerusalem, meaning near. And because they thought that the kingdom of heaven should immediately appear. Okay? So just because you woke up in 2016 and found out about the truth, and you thought the Lord was going to come back right there on your, on your dime, man. It don't work like that, man. It's not this. You got brothers that have been waiting 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, man. You know, <laughs> Yahweh Shai been waiting since they crucified him, man. Okay? No man knows but Yahweh. No man knows the, knows the hour, okay? But we, we have signs, okay? We have signs, and we're getting closer and closer. That's why you measure the time diligently within itself, okay? And it says, uh, Verse 12, he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. OK, and who is the nobleman? The nobleman in that instance is ref referencing Yahweh. OK, he went to build our kingdom. OK. It says, uh, he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants, all right. And ten is just a just a just a number, a general number, but it, it represents the hundred and forty four thousand. Okay. It says, and he called his ten servants. It represents the elect, and delivered them ten pounds. Well, well, actually, not the not the ten because the elect we're all gonna do, we're all gonna make it. 
but you know, but it, it represents the, the ones that are called. It says many are called, few are chosen. Okay, the hundred and forty-four thousand; those are the ones that are chosen. But there are many that are going to be called, and that's what the ten represents. Okay, and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds. And he said, and he said unto them, "Occupy till I come." Not what that nigga just said. He said, "I just was sitting around. I was just not. I was stagnant in my goals. I was just. I was that." No, the scripture said you're supposed to work. It says money is a is a defense, man. It's many. You guys are off, but you didn't eat the whole roll, okay? And Matt, and, and really, the Lord wasn't dealing with you. He was never in the truth. And he called his ten servants, and he delivered them ten pounds, and he said unto them, "Occupy till I come." But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. And that's you niggas. You don't want your how about you, how to reign, reign over you. OK, so you want to put put his, his the day of the Lord afar off, man. You want to delay his coming. OK, because you have your father, the devil. You want to stay here and eat Happy Meals and be happy in Funland. OK. But hey, the hundred and forty four thousand, we want to get the fuck out of here. And we're going to keep pushing this truth, okay? We're going to tell you whether you hear or f whether you hear or forbear, all right? It says, uh, verse 15, And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded, this is after, this is what's going to happen, this is judgment day, man. This is when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai returns, man, okay? It says, and, he, and it came to pass that when he was, when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded the then he commanded these servants to be called unto him. All right, it says to whom he had given the money. You you claim you was in the truth. You claim you had this money. You claim you had this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right? Okay, okay. So it says. Um, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man had gained by trading, but gained by trading. Then came the first saying, Lord, thy, hath, thy pound hath gained 10 pounds. Okay. He multiplied in this truth. He pushed his truth. Okay. And woke up like 10 brothers, for example. All right. It says, and he said unto him, well, the, well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful. Okay. Faithful. In a very in a, and he said unto him, Well, thou hast thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have have thou authority over ten cities. So that's your reward. In the kingdom you're gonna rule over let's say ten cities. Okay? That and that's just a that's just an instance. We don't know, man. We don't know. You might be ruling over a whole goddamn a planet, man. Who knows? <laughs> right? Uh it says and the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound have ga gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. And he came, saying, Lord, Salaki. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound which I have kept laid up in a napkin. And you niggas didn't even lay it up in a napkin. You niggas ripped it up and threw it away and just cast it behind you. Okay, you completely lost. You don't even, you don't even have the pound anymore. Okay? Which you never had the pounds, he never gave it to you. <laughs> you never, you never, you wasn't worthy to receive the pound. Okay? <laughs> and another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou laidest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Okay? Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taken up that I lay taken up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thy thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury. Okay? Cause you ain't pushed this truth. And out of your own mouth, you said you was in the truth. You said you had clout. You said you was this and you was that, right? <laughs> so what the hell happened? <laughs> All right. And he said unto them that stood by, take from 
And he said unto him that stood unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound and give it to him that have ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he have ten pounds. For I say unto you that every one that every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away from him. But those mine enemies which which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. Okay? Uh, Salak, I wanted to get something else too. Hold on, Salak, Salak, Salak. No, it's not here. Salak, uh, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Go to, let's go to Matthew. Uh, let me see where I want to start. Uh, cause this is these niggas here, man. Uh, da 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 da. I'm gonna start here, cause they must have forgot the, the scripture here, man. It says, uh, let me start up a little more. I start at 32. Uh, Matthew 24 and 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, and you can go up and read it. All right, but I'm not for the sake of time. I'm not gonna not gonna uh, read it. All right. Uh, but it says, now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. Okay? Why? Because there's signs. There's signs that <laughs> Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is returning. Okay? All right? His, 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 his sal uh, uh, your salvation is nearer than you believe, man. All right? Then we believe. Uh, but anyway, it says, so, like, so likewise... When ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. What? The return of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because there's signs. All right? For, uh, it says, uh, verse 34, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. All right? Heavenly, it says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So everything Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai said must come to pass. Okay? And it's, it's, we almost there, all right? Whether you believe it or not, whether you can see it or not. It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Okay, so we know that, all right? We know this, right? But the Lord gave us gave us uh, signs, man. Way back on the Mount of Olives, the, the disciples came to him privately asking him, you know, what are going to be the signs? He told them rumors of wars, uproars of the people, you know, famine. You know, he told them the signs. We can clearly see them, all right? And a day to the Lord is a thousand years. You dumb niggas think the Lord is on your time. He is his time and your time ain't the same, man. His ways and your ways ain't the same, okay? Only Yahweh knows, man. But we know it must come to pass, okay? All these things in this scripture is, must needs come to pass. And, and Esau knows it too. That's why they got that Project Megiddo, okay? But anyway, it says, but the day, Matthew 24 and 36, but of that day and hour, no, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noe, meaning Noah, were, so shall, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. All right. For as in the days that were before the flood and the, 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 the another flood is coming, the flood of ICBM missiles, that nuclear, uh, nuclear uh, <laughs> destruction. That lake of fire, that's the new flood. Plus them chariots. Plus plus all manner of hell. The flood of the Gurgan troops, the martial law. Man, what? A time like never before. Okay? For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking like these niggas eating Mickey D's and shit. You know? <laughs> cool ass niggas, man. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. <laughs> marrying and given in marriage until the days that Noe, meaning Noah, entered into the ark. And the new ark is going to be the chariots. That's the only thing that's going to dis dis save us, man. You know, in the twinkling of the eye, we shall scarcely be saved, man. We all going to be changed. Man, you guys are crazy. And knew not until the flood came. Okay, you scoffers, you two-thirds. Then they shall know a prophet had been amongst them. Then they knew, They then they realized when the, when the, the, the water started cracking from the ground, falling out the sky, shooting out of all manner of places. Then they fully understood all the things Noah was saying when they were scoffing and laughing and, and having fun living it up. You know, 
Then they realize, oh shit, Noah was a prophet. Yahweh was with Noah. He was right. We should have listened, but it was too late. Okay? It's going to be weeping and gnashing the teeth, man. It says, uh, verse 39, And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the Son of Man be. Who is the Son of Man? Yahweh not Jesus Christ. Yahweh Okay? Then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Why? Because... We just gonna get beamed up in them chariots, man. Grinding, grinding mean at work. You know? It says uh verse 42. Watch therefore, and that, that was your job, supposedly. You claimed you was a prophet, alright? You claimed you was on the watchtower, but you abandoned post, man. You abandoned post to go get a happy meal, nigga. Okay? It says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Okay? But know this. That if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready. That's why he said occupy. Occupy in these prophecies. Occupy, man. Occupy. Don't be idle. <laughs> Damn sure don't, don't, don't put, take your hand from the plow. Don't go back in the world. Okay? Put off that old man. Okay? It says, uh, therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Flock it, flock it. Let me read that over. Uh, verse 44. Therefore be ye also ready for in such as an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Lord's willing we be those men. Okay? Lord's willing. Starting from elder apostles to her on down, man. Okay? That's why we do these videos. That's why we go out on the highways and the byways, man. We trying to warn you people. This isn't a fucking game, man. This is deadly serious, okay? It says, Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Doing what? Doing his work. Having faith. Being, try you know, trying his best. Okay? Verily, I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant, which is you niggas, right? This is the main point here. You evil niggas, man, that took your hand from the plow, that want to laugh and mock and scoff, and this cult this and this cult that. You see? This you wicked ass niggas. You two thirds. But, uh, Matthew 24 and 48. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, in your mind, my Lord delayeth his coming, okay, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and to drink with the drunken, <laughs> that, it says, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and, and gnashing of teeth. Okay. And I got. I want to read the same account real quick. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna be too long. I'm gonna shut it down here, man. I'll probably play a little bit more of the video <laughs> and shut it down. Uh, I want to get straight to the point here. Uh, Matt, this is the same account. This is Luke 12 and 45. I just wanted to hear it a little bit more. I like this. How he emphasized certain things here. He's because of the word clout, right? Uh, clout, like I said, uh, a heavy blow with the hand or a hard object. Smack, slap, thump, punch, blow, hit, knock, bang, cuff. That's what we used to say in the islands. Cuff. Benjamin said that. Cuff you. That means slap you upside your head. Box. That's what we used to say too. That's We used to say Yo, he's going to box you in your mouth. Punch you in your mouth. Spanking, <laughs> uh, he, you, 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 you beyond spanking. <laughs> you gonna clip, you gonna clip your wings. You gonna clip you. <laughs> All right. Um, but uh, let's get this. Luke uh, twelve and forty five. It says, uh, "But and if that servant say in his heart, you wicked ass niggas eating Mickey D's in your car, my Lord delayeth his coming, 
and shall begin to beat the men servant and maidens and to eat and drink and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him asunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers, because you have no faith. Okay? So it's only fitness, only right. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes, clouded upside your head. Okay? Chop your head, gonna get chopped the fuck off. <laughs> you see? You might get a missile, who knows, man? All manner of hell <laughs> go, go, go before you, man. And your household. And your household, man. It says, but he that knew not and did not commit things worthy of stripes, like I said, it's better that you never even came, that you never even touched this truth. You should have just stayed in the world. You should have just stayed in the world. You like you like your father the devil, Esau, man. Like your Hawabashim and Hawashashim. You never should have took the, the covenant in your mouth. Okay? Alright? It says, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes, okay? But it says, For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And whom men have committed much, of him they will ask more. Okay? Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to shut it down. It's 36 minutes, man. <laughs> All right? But like I said, Lord's willing, don't don't be these niggas, man. Like I always say, we, we too close, man. And when I say close, I don't mean tomorrow. I don't mean, we don't know. No man knows the hour. But we know we're close, man. We know we're very close. You know? And as each day draws draws near, I mean closes, we're getting closer and closer. Like Job said, he he, appound, he, he appointed him, uh, he set the bounds which he can't pass. Okay? we That's funny because we brought that up in camp last night. All right? The brother I, Isaria uh, uh, brought that out, man. That it's an hourglass, man. He, you got the hourglass, and, 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 and it's, it, it's, it's running out of it's sand, man. And ain't nobody going to flip it over. No. No, 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 no. This is Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And you you, 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 you wicked-ass niggas that want to stay in fun land, li live it up. Rejoice. <laughs> the cup going to come to you too, niggas. <laughs> You're going to get double cup, which, which you shouldn't You shouldn't want to get, okay? Your pun the punishment of, of Zion is already accomplished, man. But you want to be like Esau the devil. You you want to be like your daddy. So, hey, you're going to get double the cup just like Esau, okay? Anyway, with that being said, Lord's willing to that a fine. Hey, like the brothers, everything is a joke to two-thirds. I'm going to watch that after. <laughs> I already figured brothers went in on this guy, man. Anyway, with that being said, uh, Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.